Hello, and welcome to this week's Forstar Comcast episode, in which we're going to put together our application event and start having it firing so that we can build some interactivity into our Lightning components. So for the past few weeks, we've been working on a Lightning application, uh, which we can see here, um, and that has a series of different components. We have a list, we have um, the input for a task, here we have a report which shows uh, the breakdown of opportunities, and we have some information about a uh, what at the moment is a preset account. So what we want to do now is we want to enable the functionality so that when we click one of these accounts here in the list, a message or an event is sent out to all of these other components that tell the components that we're now dealing in a particular context. So what we want this to do is say when we click on Dickinson PLC, all of these other components will be updated to know that Dickinson PLC is the current relevant account. The report view will update to filter on Dickinson PLC. The task will create tasks against Dickinson PLC. And this high level information panel we've got here will display information about Dickinson. So how do we do that? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to refactor our account list a little bit. So as you can see here, I have now extracted out what was the previous code in this part here into its own component. So we're still iterating over and still creating a lot of separate component, uh, a lot of different uh, cards. But instead of being uh, in markup just there, we now have a separate component for this account card. And we passed in the attribute of the account. Um, we've registered an event, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, but we've just got the same markup as we had before for display, okay? Nothing different there. Um, the reason we've done this is that the event we want to fire is on a particular account card, and that should be encapsulated within its own component. So what I've done is I've refactored this, not only to make it fit a more component-centric model, um, but previously we had it done so that it looked a little bit more like um, the Visual Force and Apex way of developing, just to kind of help everyone uh, see what we were doing. Now we're really moving into the component um, kind of development model where we're breaking everything down into as many components as we can. So now we've got this component. What we're doing is we're just iterating over it, uh, iterating over the list still, creating many instances of it. Nothing complicated at all. So <clears throat> I mentioned that we've added an event, so let's talk about the event. Um, you can define a new Lightning event in the developer console by going new, and then lightning event, oops, lightning event there. And uh, what it will do is it will define for you an event file, um, which has the suffix evt as we see here. And what we've done is we've defined uh, an aura event or a <coughs> lightning event with the application type. So um, when we started off this entire series a number of weeks back, we discussed the difference between component events and application events. So application events can be read by any component within that application. Component events can only be read by parent components or the component itself. So this is an application event so that all of the components within the application can understand it. We then have um, an attribute that we're going to pass in. So we'll be sending out this event with a message in it. And in that message is going to be the account ID. So this is going to be the account that we've selected. Okay, That's all the markup required to define the aura event. So it's really, really simplistic and easy. So what we've now done is we've gone into our account card here um, and we've registered that this event is one that we can fire. So the register event tag here uh, stipulates that we can fire this event. We give it a name, which is just account select, and we give it a type, which is uh, corresponding to that event we just had a second ago. So if I open that back up, you can see here account selection event. Um, you can see here that this is the type. So this has the name account selection event, um, and that corresponds to the type here in the register. So C is the default namespace. If you have your own namespace, you put it there. Um, and account selection event is just the name of the event. Um, so that's all we need to do to register it. What we then do is we can reference it in our controller code. So I've got an onClick method here on one of the cards um, or on the card component that calls the account selected method on our controller. So I go into the uh, client side controller here. You see that I retrieve the ID of the account we're working with. So v.ac is the account uh, related to that particular component. 
I retrieve the ID. Um, I then retrieve my app event. So I use the dollar a um, kind of global um, to help me retrieve the event. So e dot, and then it's the namespace again, followed by the name of the event we wanted to fire. I set my parameters. So I set the account ID to be my selected ID, which I've got here. And then I fire. And what that fire does is that emits the event across the system for uh, and, or across the application for any of the components that are on there to pick up. So that's how we can define an event, register it, and fire it. Um, but it's not very useful at the moment until we can handle it. So if I go on to my account info component, what I've done um, is I've just done a very, very basic handler here. In next week's video, we'll hook up all of the handlers and we'll see the difference between all of the different handlers because we need to default some behavior on the components. Um, and we'll talk through that in a minute. Um, but we'll do that in kind of a separate uh, in next week's session just so that we don't balloon on and on here. Um, to handle an event, you define the handler as we had before. So we've already got the system in it event. We've added our own event, which is this C account selection event. So again, the namespace and the name of the event. And then we've got the action we want to take on it in our controller. And all we're going to do at the moment is just uh, log out that a new account has been selected. Okay, uh, it's just a console log statement, really simplistic. So let's see this working. So if I refresh the window again, just to kind of ensure that everything is up to date, um, then we'll see it load up, and you'll now see that that renders slightly differently than it did before because it's loading up all those individual components. And if I click on something like Edge Communications, I then have a new account selected with that ID. And if I go to Burlington, it's a different ID again, and so on and so forth. So that's coming from this component down here, the account info controller is where this log is coming out. Um, and so it's handling that event and playing, um, kind of displaying the message for us. So as I mentioned in next week's video, we're going to look at how we use that to then fire off and um, retrieve extra data. And we're also going to look at defaulting information. So when we have no account selected, this shouldn't show any information. This is correct at the moment as it uh, shows us the default view for all accounts. But we want to be able to filter this report based upon the account ID we have. And then here, we also want to be able to define what the default behavior is and what we do when there's a particular account selected. And the final thing we'll do is when we uh, select an account here, we'll have it so that it um, correctly uh, marks it as being selected. Um, and then in future, when we click on another one, it will then uh, just maintain it. So at the moment, it just keeps it underlined, as you can see. We want to have some sort of method uh, just to highlight it a bit better. So that's coming up in next week's video. I hope you have... Uh, enjoyed this one and found uh, seeing how an event hangs together quite useful. Um, if you have any comments, please post them below.